Womack, they called him Dolly Womack, and uh, in 1920, he was coming out of the Valley of Virginia, basically towards, he was coming west uh, on the CNO line, and his uh, engine hit a broken rail, and I used to know his daughters very well, lived in town when I was in my late teens and early 20s, and uh, he was killed in this wreck, the steam pipes broke in two, um, the, the engine and the um, coal car, or the the, coal, the tender and the mail car kind of broke loose from the actual passenger train, there were about 200 passengers on this train, so luckily they weren't involved. The, uh, the engine kind of derailed from that and uncoupled and went on down the rails and what happened, his driver wheels got into the middle of the ties and started cutting the ties up. He, he got off of the rail and when those ties started being chopped up by the engine, they were hitting up under the steam pipes and when Dolly Womack tried to go out the window, the coal tender buckled back on him and dumped all the coal on him and pinned him down into the floor of his locomotive and he was scalded to death with the steam. And his uh, fireman, uh, Charlie Poteets, mentioned in this, when I was a young fella, Leo was still living, Charlie's father, and he told me, he said, uh, they thought his father had also died in this particular accident. And they said that Womack, you know, had been scalded so bad by all this hot steam, you couldn't tell who anyone was, you know. Um, and they didn't know that their father had survived until they literally saw him a couple of days later. They thought that he, he uh, in fact, it was reported that he had died. <clears throat> From Washington to Charlottesville, then Stanton on the line, came the old Midwestern Limited, number five on time. She was the Cincinnati train, oh, the swiftest on the line. Through the valley of Virginia into Clifton Forge on time. Now the engineer at Clifton Forge, Dolly Womack was his name, was there to sign the register and pull his speeding train. With his fireman Charlie Cote, he reported for the line, and reading their strict orders, they left Clifton Forge on time. Then Dolly to his fireman said, Oh, Charlie, well, you know, For years I've been an engineer to ride the CNO. For many years I've had to run just 25 in all, And when I blow for Covington, they'll sure to know my call. From Covington to Jerry's Run, Old number five did roll Through the Allegheny Tunnel With a crew so brave and bold. Then west on to the mountain state, White Sulphur Springs on time, with orders to pull over there and take the East Main Line. Now I know my engine is all right, she's a U.S. mountain kind, 137, she will get us there in time. But Dolly to his fireman said, Charlie, we're running some behind, but when I pull for the Great Bend Tunnel, I mean to be on time. But four miles further down the road, she hit a broken rail. No more to pull old number five, no more to pull the mail. Well, the engine did not overturn, but the steam pipes broke in two. Two hundred pounds of pressure killed poor Dolly, brave and true. Now when the brakes are set on time, life's throttle valve shut down. Someday he'll pile it in the crew that wears the master's crown. With his clear block into heaven's gate, he will pull their speeding train. And there in God's own roundhouse, he will register their name. The Dolly Womack wreck. Oh dear. How much time do we have? I have anything left here? <laughs> He's digging for his watch. Or no, his, He's got about his five phone. minutes. Five minutes.